Yeah, in our previous session, we learned on how to create a master data. So after the master data, the next step is on how to create a posting. So to create the posting, you need to go to the, yeah, the path is same as per I explained in the previous uh, sessions. So I'm not going to go through all okay accounting, financial accounting, all this. So directly I'm jumping into the next, which is a posting. So the postings we have here, acquisition, which is uh, from the external acquisition with your vendor or via offsetting account or a clearing offsetting account from affiliated company, you know. So I would like to go through uh, the different uh, kind of postings here. So now we are purchasing the asset from a vendor. Okay, so let's say when we are doing this transaction, so you need to go, this will be considered as external transaction. So you click on with the vendor. So zero one. 03 2020 so 01 03 so my company code is 2800 so 2800 is my sample company code from um, western china so i use this uh, to create and uh, my currency is cny so the vendor is actually i'm going to choose 1157 so this is a furniture so click enter. So this is called a document. So this is not available. Then I should try using a different vendor. Let's see. So here I'm going to give 10,000 CNY. So the business area I can enter or I don't want to enter. So I just give 70 and I'm going to use my asset. So the asset what I bought is a 3000. Let's say when you go. So you can see here the assets we have created is a different assets for furniture. So let's say I'm going to use the 3001. Okay. So since this is external acquisition, so every fixed asset must be recorded with a transaction type. So the transaction type which will be used for the asset reporting here. So which will be recorded as a like a there's different lines for the asset postings. So which will be used for reporting. So now every external acquisition must be posted with 100. Click enter. So what happens? The parallel depreciation area 02 is not posted. So yeah, it's a good example. Maybe what should I do is I should go back to our configuration. So here I would like to fix this because I know the issue is actually some setup for the asset classes, depreciation area activation, I suspect. There's some issue here so maybe I skip this or so here financial accounting asset accounting and then the Valuation, depreciation, ordinary depreciation, determined depreciation areas. So go back. So here three thousand depreciation areas so here actually what happens it's a simple setting uh, missing here so which is not activated so I just press enter so it copied so it says 02 is not activated 
So I'm going to activate all this because uh, I don't want to deactivate for this asset class. So click OK. So it's some backend issue here. So this will be what are all these, um, what is the SPR? Well, it's actually for a consultant level. It's an advanced level uh, training which will be covered in the next sessions. So here now I, I done the setting. So now I go back. So it's still showing this error. So I remove and then I try again. So maybe I should restart the transaction sometimes. System will take to adopt. I forgot to enter the reference. Maybe I will enter it later. So let's see the transaction first. Okay. So what happens? This is a this is a tricky part. You know. So uh, you see, even though we activated, so if we go to a zero three, and um, you go to this asset, what happens here? So you don't see the depreciation area. So it's now if I create any different asset. So let's say a S01 and then using the same asset, I try. So what I do, maybe I don't want to copy that asset. Furniture, I just So now you can see here, there's a different depression, but all the assets what we created, we can't see that information. So click OK, save it. Now 3.7 is created. So now I'm going to use 7. You see. So this is sometimes errors will come like this. Um, um, we must be very careful with the design what you have done to the in the system click ok so now you can see the transaction which is posted and the the credit to the vendor debit to the fixed asset so now i would like to show you it's posted in a different transactions also in the different currencies if you are using multiple currencies you can see lc amount 2 lc amount 3 all these information here so i will always save my layout as a default so i just want to this is the options here so i just want to optimize my column width Click OK. So you can see now. So you see, but here um, in, the, in the in the header level, sometimes you cannot see all the exchange rate here. So you can see this is a CNY, this is Euro, this is USD. So they have different currencies. So now click on Save. So we are able to post a transaction. So after successfully posted, the system is going to show the document which is generated and posted by the system. So this is the document which is generated by the system. You can see here. So this document is used in the financial accounting. So what is for asset accounting, the document? So I will show you that. So this is quite tricky. The SAP will create a, a different documents for each cases. AS03, we go asset values. 
we post a 10,000 so you can see this is the 10,000 so what is the how it is calculated so five years so it's 60 months so 60 months if we divide by um, month then you can see how much it is calculating so the system is capable of doing all these calculations yeah so based on what you have entered so now um, you can see here where we are 